Hi guys, uh, remember I told you I was not going to be here, but I told you I was going to be here. So today I'm actually on your screen. And today we're going to be practicing that rounding tens, hundreds, um, inside larger numbers. And then we're going to be adding and subtracting like we've been practicing in class. So come on and join me and uh, make sure that you get the sheet of paper you're going to need for this. Remember, you're going to watch me on the first two, so do not record anything on the first two. All right, just watch me, and then you're going to complete the other four by yourself. Okay, come on. All right, this is a watch me, so remember, do not write anything. All right, the first thing I need to do is I am going to look at what it's asking me to do. I see that I'm supposed to round to the hundreds place. All right, if I'm rounding to the hundreds place, I have 5,398, and I'm rounding to the hundreds. So my hundreds place is going to be right here at the three. So I'm looking at these three numbers. So 398. So I ask myself, is this going to be closer to 300 or is this going to be closer to 400? And I have to put that thousands place in front of it. All right, my nine here tells me to bump up, which means I'm going to be closest to 5,400. So I'm going to put that down in this box, 5,400. The next one says to round to the tens. All right, so I have 265 and my tens place is right here. So I'm actually looking, my pen's giving me a hard time. I'm actually looking at the 65 and I'm asking myself, is this closer to 60 or is it closer to 70? And remember, then we add in those other parts. So the five tells me that I need to bump up, which means I am closer to 260. So remember how important it is to put that number right directly. We don't want to put that in a thousands place. This is asking me to tell the sum, which means I need to add. So I have zero and zero, zero, zero and six is six, four and two is six, drop my comma. And so my final answer is 5,660. All right, the next one is a watch me. All right, this one says that we're going to round to the hundreds. So I have 9,631, and I'm looking at the hundreds place. So the hundreds place is right here before that comma. So I'm, I see that I need to see if I'm going to round closer to 600 or if I'm going to be closer to 700. I'm going to get that 9 in front and oops, get my 9 in front. All right, the 3 tells me that I need to stay down. It is lower than 5. So that means that I'm going to round to 9,600. All right, the next one says to the nearest tens. So I have 4,625, and I'm going to the nearest tens. So I want to look at this. I want to concentrate on that part of my number. And that tells me, am I going to be closer to 20, or am I going to be closer to 30? Now, I can't forget all the really good stuff that goes in with that. So I have 4,620 or 4,630. All right, the five tells me to bump up, which means I'm going to be closer. I'm going to round to 4,630. Now, this tells me I need to find the difference, which means I'm going to have to subtract. Zero take away zero, not a problem. When I have a zero at the top and a three at the bottom, that's a problem. So I have to come over and borrow. This becomes a five. This becomes a 10. 10 take away 3 is 7 because I pound up 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 5 take away 6, I cannot do. Don't you think about putting a 1 there. So I'm going to have to borrow. This becomes an 8. This becomes a 15. Now I can pound my 6 up to 15. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's not right. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whoa, sorry. That is 9. I went to 16. That was my problem. All right. Uh, I dropped my comma and 8 take away 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That gives me 4. All right. If you happen to get 10 and you know you can't hold 10 down at the bottom, you have to go back and think about what you did wrong, like I did. All right. Let's go on to the next one. This one is a number one on your paper. So this is where you're going to start recording that information. Okay, so in the first box, it says round. You're going to round to the nearest tens. 
The second box says round, you're gonna to round to the nearest hundred. And then it says to find the sum or the difference, you're supposed to find the difference. All right, pause this, write all those numbers down, record it on your sheet of paper, and then you can press the video again. All right, you're on number two. So find number two, you're rounding to the tens, you're rounding to the tens again, you're finding the sum, record that information on your paper, pause it, and then you can uh, go on to the next one. All right, you're on number three. So find number three on your paper. You're rounding to the tens, you're rounding to the hundreds, you're finding the difference. So make sure you do all three of those things and pause the video. Okay, you can round to the tens. Oops, we're on the last one, sorry. You round to the tens, you round to the hundreds, and you're finding the difference. So make sure you record all that information on your sheet of paper as well. Okay, make sure that you have put your name on your paper. All your work is neat and it is complete. Everything, all the boxes are filled out. Make sure you take this sheet, put it in the finished work box, and then go on to Dreambox and complete the start item first. If you don't have any start item, go to the calendar because that's your assignment for today. I hope you're behaving for the sub and I can't wait to check I can't wait to check these papers and uh, see what we need to do next. So good job, guys. Hope you're behaving. See you tomorrow.